So the Three of Wands often represents expansion, quite frankly. Expansion of ideas, concepts, and possibly for some of you, this could be related to the career sector as well. I love this card and I love that when it turns out, he's actually got his back to us so we can't see clearly what is going on and neither can he at this stage, but he is contemplating his future. Now that's interesting given that we've got so many things going retrograde, so there's a possibility that his future and the expansion of his future is tied up very closely with what has gone on beforehand or, or in the past. Now, if this is to do with career, we sometimes see this as, as a time of being very good for applying for jobs and being given a new job or for promo promotions or expansion of businesses. So if you are owning your own business or you are thinking of being becoming self-employed, these can be all very viable energies or signs when this type of card is out. So I think we will look at this deck of cards over here, which are the energy cards by Sandra and Taylor. They're oracle cards, but they're very, very similar to a tarot deck. So this is for Aquarius. We just want a bit of a clarifier on where this three of wands is taking us and what else it might be referring to. So we're just shuffling now to see what card will come out for you guys. Woman holding a coin. So it can be about finances or money pertaining to money and often the wands are, as we have talked about, they are about career. So this woman holding a coin could represent literally that a woman might be involved in this expansion that you are thinking of one way or another. Now she could be someone who offers you a promotion or offers you a job. So she could be a potential new employer one way or another. She could be someone who is going to loan you something for say starting up a business. So if some of you are thinking of becoming self-employed again, this is a good omen in regards to your finances and you know thinking of uplifting a loan. She could be a bank manager or an accountant as well or a loans officer someone like that she could give you both ideas and so philosophical information as well as physical monetary stability or offers around this expansion so I'm thinking there's a lot of positive energy here for you guys at that particular point in time and at this looking at going afield. Now that expansion card can sometimes also sort of uh, symbolize expansion through things like the internet because we're talking about the possibility of going global. He's definitely looking very very far out so sometimes I note that when this card turns up there can be uh, like going on the internet becoming global through the means of technology but it can also mean the possibility of shifting so sometimes this could mean that you might be thinking of expanding yourself in terms of moving to a different country or a different state and it can be related to work so again this woman holding a coin could hold a lot of answers for you she could be loaning you money or backing your ideas you know anything along those lines or she might be someone who says yes you've been given the go ahead you are signed off to do it so I think we'll take a look at one other clarifier for that line because it's giving off a lot, quite a lot of positivity let's just go into here these are the angel answers actually so they quite often give a set answer or specific direction for something so we'll just see what else you would like to confirm around this um, clarifying of the Three of Wands things. What else would you like to let Aquarius know? One more shuffle, guys. So what else are we going to tell you? <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah, so basically that whole column has, um, <clears throat> excuse me, provided itself to you with some really good positive forward moving energy and I think answers so if any of you have been questioning something about an expansion or an idea or a possibility or a direction especially around career or hobbies right so around any of those three 
you've just kind of received some really good messages there expansion looking ahead looking to the future making plans going in a certain direction possibly offshore possibly global possibly through the internet uh, possibly entrepreneurial and self-employed there is someone who could give you a hand with this this woman holding the coin she might be symbolic of a financial officer of one sort or another. I also can't help but notice the black cat in the card and I'm thinking um, that cats could or your pets might be involved in something in the month of April. Whether some of you actually get a new pet or whether some of you have to rehome a pet because you are moving away somewhere. That might be temporary. Um, also a woman might be involved in this pet business as well but then the final card there which I absolutely adore I love the colors it says don't stop so ponder this expansion keep it going move it through um, look into the growth perspectives of it look how to do it do some due diligence do your homework and take action if we look at this card here, it's the complete opposite of what we've got over there at the moment. So we have the what's called the Nine of Swords. It's a little bit of a card that denotes feeling tied up, feeling anxious. Sometimes a bit of depression can come in there with it. Uh, not knowing which way to go, uh, feeling restricted or confined to something. And this can be tied up due to your own circumstances or thoughts or feelings or narrative on life or it can be due to other people preventing you from being able to make a move it is often associated with night so things that go on at night and it can be associated with uh, dreams or horror dreams like nightmares and also a lack of sleep so insomnia so some of you may need to address sleeping patterns in the month of April it might be wise for you to learn how to try and get good sleep like go to bed early turn off your um, technological data don't watch horror movies before going to bed some of you are literally going to do that you're going to watch a horror movie and then be so <laughs> freaking frightened you're not going to be able to you're just going to be in bed like oh my god I can't sleep shut the doors is there anyone in the wardrobe I get that feeling for some of you so you know go easy on those type of things because they could add to a whole nervous conundrum around you and sometimes that's all it takes to offset our nervous system and to push it into a slightly irregular path or down a, a, an irregular beat uh, a lot of you might need to slow down, you might need to refuel your bodies and to harness the light and to, uh, you know, get, get some sort of priority in the things that you're doing because there might be too many things that you're actually trying to do at once because we see all these nine swords, right? It could be that you're trying to attempt nine different things at once and it's literally too much for you. So let's go to the John Holland at this stage and see what we are going to find here as a qualifier for the Nine of Swords. What are you wanting to let Aquarius know regards this? So what is it? Transformation 13, that's the death card. So it, it is a card of transformation. But it's also a card of tension sometimes. The death card comes to us when we are evolving, when we are going through something. So this card becomes kind of more important than the one behind it. The one behind it is almost the symptoms of this agenda. So when the death card turns up, as it so happens to be a major arcana, it's telling us that something is ebbing out of our life and that we are moving into a new paradigm, a new understanding, a new reality. So for each and every one of you, this death of something could be very, very different. For some of you, it could be emotional. For some of you, it could be physical or work related or career or money related. For some of you, it could be partnerships or marriages or family life. For some of you, it could be personal issues or health related so you see general readings we could spend literally hours and hours going through all the different scenarios that these various 
cards could be suggesting. So we just have to look at the broader perspective of it and say that there is a transformation taking place and that is perhaps why the anxiety, the underlying anxiety is residing in the background. We've seen over here that there was great contemplation of expansion, of movement, of change taking place and being told to not stop and to go for it, which is wonderful. But that change can create these type of things to happen. This amazing spiritual change, this alchemy that can take place in your life. It can be so transformative that you when you've gone through the whole journey, which can be quite a long journey, it doesn't mean it's necessarily going to take place within this one month. This could be a journey that may have started a while ago and could be just slowly transforming. It could still go on for months after this. But while these transitions occur, we change at every dynamic and level and this creates this discombobulation and this bubbling away underneath of anxiety and uncertainty and unknowing. So I think maybe I will try one of these cards. This is going to turn out, this is a very intense um, column here. So let's see what else are you wanting Aquarius to know and what messages have you got for them regards this change that's taking place and to help reduce anxiety and tension. Also with the Nine of Swords guys, it can be really beneficial to listen to your dreams at night and also start taking journals down and to write down ideas and thoughts that come into your mind. Now, some of them could be ideas for your expansion, but other thoughts and ideas that you write down could be very healing and cathartic for your overall soul's journey. So one more shuffle here. Okay, so what is it that we are telling Aquarius from the cosmic cards to deal with this transformation? To become a free spirit, to be lighter, you know, to be more expansive, to not stop and to let go of the anxiety. And, you know, to become a free spirit what would we be doing if we were doing that? We would be flying. And what is in the background of the picture? She's transforming with butterfly wings in the background. So this is enabling her to fly, to feel free, to become free from something that has trapped her. I will read you the words from the cosmic book because uh, they're very they have vibrational frequencies within the words that are actually quite important that go with the cards. True freedom is attained when one transcends the illusionary imprisonment of their mind. Wow, wow, wow. I love that because that is the imprisonment of the mind. So these cards here are working together so succinctly. The message is so tied up <laughs> pardon the pun it's just really really tied up so I think for you guys if you just sit back quietly now and listen to these uh, very poignant words something will resonate with you at a certain level of your soul and it may be at the subconscious level this card represents the need to let go of limiting beliefs you hold within yourself beliefs regarding who you are and what you are capable of achieving there are two types of beliefs, beneficial beliefs which encourage you to grow and detrimental beliefs which keep you imprisoned and bound by fear. These core beliefs lie in your subconscious and attract experiences that match their emanating frequency. So if your subconscious holds more detrimental beliefs, it is likely you will attract circumstances to match that energy. If you find yourself attracting more roadblocks and hurdles, Look within yourself and see what limiting beliefs you hold inside. It is these beliefs that block you from living a more fulfilling life of manifestation, inner freedom and peace. If you were drawn to this card, Spirit is encouraging you to look deeper within yourself and see what it is that is holding you back from living a more fulfilled life. Do you harbour thoughts of not being good? worthy or talented enough 
What vibration are you sending out to the world to receive the roadblocks that you currently face? Remember that what you wish for in life needs to be an exact match to the beliefs that are lying in your subconscious. If they are not in sync with each other, then it is most likely that your wishes may take a longer time to manifest. What detrimental beliefs have you been holding on to all these years? Reframe and replace any detrimental beliefs uncovered with beneficial affirmations. And you can utilize this affirmation if you like, if you're into affirmations. Great Spirit, assist me to understand and transcend any detri detrimental beliefs I may hold within myself. And the associated chakra for this card is the base chakra. So very powerful column for you guys. And I think we will just let those words sink in there and we will move along to the Knight of Cups. He is often a proposition of newness as well. So I can see in this reading, there's a lot of movement. There's a lot, even though we're in a month where so much planetary retrograde stuff is going on, there feels to be for you guys this explosion of opportunity or possibilities and also this explosion of letting go of something that's been holding you back. Now, whether that something was your own fear or your own disbelief or your own anxiety, which is what we've seen, you know, through this lane here. So now we come to more new beginnings and the Knight of Cups brings in this proposition or feeling of emotional tenderness, of emotional gratuity and of giving. So the Knight of Cups can often be some sort of offer of fondness or support or nurture or even for some of you the possibility of romance and this can come about too from going through such a transformation in this column because for some of you this might have been um, the transformation or the loss of relationships right letting them pass away yeah so as you can see uh, lots of potential change for you and I think for some of you this may even encompass the emotional perspective so perhaps this could be tied up with relationships for some of you I see a definite in that first column a definite tie-in to career or your hobbies or passions possibly even universities or studies but as we're moving through this reading and we get to these cup cards over here we are definitely looking at the emotional side or even though this one was very emotional uh, we are down into the sort of heart chakra energy here so speaking of which I'm going to pull one of the John Holland cards and see what is going to be the clarifier for the knight of cups for you guys so this is for Aquarius what would you like them to know about the knight of cups the clarifier for this please okay Another major arcana, and so it's number 20, which is the judgment card, and he calls it the truth card. So, you know, judgment is, ju judgment is not dissimilar to the whole transformation over here, you know, the, the death card. These are big, big cards, and they are suggesting big changes going on. This card is, this guy is standing here on a set of scales, as you can see, and there's some sort of illuminated light coming from the top where the numerals are, and he is looking out into the vast cosmos. So he is bringing some sort of balance and truth and understanding and conceptual reality into a situation or his belief system or himself as a being. The judgment card is often about an epiphany in life and coming to the realization that you have been doing something fundamentally that has been flawed or has not been enabling you to go down the best road you can or has not been connected to your soul purpose. To So there might have been, you know, you might have been feeling like there was a void or a vacancy in areas of your life and sometimes it's hard to pinpoint you may not know why you feel this way or you may not know what it actually is that's missing in the background but when the judgment card comes out it's an opportunity to understand that what could have been missing 
is now available or you now can see a way through it or you can see a way to bring balance into the situation. And given that the Knight of Cups can often be about emotions of the heart, this could be something that affects you at the heart level. So this could be about relationships for some of you and some of it, it might be a romantic relationship or a very close one. So there could be a desire or a need to bring balance into current relationships that exist for those of you who aren't seeking new relationships. This could be a time where you need to either listen or communicate to a partner or a family member or a close community about what will bring balance and harmony to a situation or what will reharmonize or rebalance a situation as well. 